Oh no, I've been muted. <laughs> uh, thank you. Good catch. Good catch. I would have kept talking. Um, hello. Yes, it is sweater weather, so I am wearing a sweater. I'm bringing this out of retirement. Um, <laughs> that's really all you missed. Um, but yeah. Hello, we are here working on finishing up these, uh, these doll heads. So, I guess, uh, yet again, um, heads up, uh, for anyone who is, uh, skeeved out by dolls. Maybe not the stream for you, but we'll probably be back to our regular, uh, regularly scheduled content soon. Uh, but this is something that I like to do, so I'm, I'm doing it regardless. <laughs> um... But also, um, if you have any questions about what I'm doing, you can always hit uh, exclamation point dolls in the chat and it should pop up with like a little bit of info about what is uh, going on. <laughs> but yeah, let's see here. With that, we can uh, scoot to the main event. Let's see here. Yeah, there's going to be... the lighting's a little bit different since it's evening this time, but we'll, we'll make do. Let's see here. Let me reach over here. So I finished... Um, the, the Unia. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, she's done. She was pretty much done by the end of last time. I just did a little bit of, like, touch-ups on her face and stuff. So she's put together again. Um, she's... I don't know. I mean, it's definitely, like, it's me, but it's also, like, not. Also, I made these eyes. They're, like, basically just resin, like, half domes with a print of literally my eye texture on it. Um, but then because of the dome, they kind of have like a follow me effect, and I really like that. I don't know, that's just something fun that people do with their anime dolls, and I think it's cute. Um, but yeah, I don't know, other than that, um, so I, I wiped this one because it, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. Um, but it gave me a ma moment of panic, <laughs> because... Um, the, the sealant, um, once I started wiping it off, it started turning white. <laughs> oh, that scared me, but I just had to keep, you know, wiping it off, and it eventually stopped doing that. Um, but that's the first time that's happened, so it scared me at first. I think it might be due to the fact that it's, like, a head that has been dyed to be this color. Maybe it reacts with the sealant funky. Um, but other than that, yeah. It could also be the weather. I don't usually, um, do face-ups when it's super cold, but, I mean, can't really help it right now. And obviously it hasn't been, like, too bad. It's not like it's, like, super cloudy once it's on. It's just a little cold in between. But, yeah. Let's see here. <laughs> Temp can affect. For sure. Um, let's see here have like one clean glove so but it's for the left hand but the left hand I don't use the glove for so we're turning it inside out <laughs> and then once I get that on then we can uh, start with these ones um but yeah I also had kind of like a um uh maybe not demoralizing but like a artist whoop artist block moment of like none of the lines that I'm drawing are smooth enough why can't I ever draw things like I want them to be drawn um but I don't know taking a little bit more time to work on it um and trying to get like even finer details I I can do pretty well I just have to like you know put my face like right up to it in order to like see the lines I'm like one step away from like a uh those miniature figure uh painters who like have a magnifying glass when they do their work um yeah to get those fine lines gosh dang but anyway let's see i can show off these real quick so i did probably the most on her um i, I gave her a face uh the marking thing that i said and then i gave her some like little polka dot thingies on the ears I don't know. I just think it's cute. <laughs> um, I also, like, if you can kind of see, those are kind of, like, some of the finest lines I've ever drawn in my life. Um, I might have a little bit more that I want to do with that one. But I think the first one we're going to work on is this one, since it has the most to do. And that means that it gets more layers. 
Um, but this one, I don't think I even touched in between, um, because I was busy working on the others. But, yeah, I mean, she's almost done, just needs a bit more touch-ups. <laughs> And then this one, like I said, I wiped, and it's back. I don't know. I did like these really weird bushy eyebrows, but it was just kind of like paint on paint on paint, and I didn't like it that much, so sketched out new ones this time. I also decided that I wanted the scar to be a little bigger. It's hard to see right now, but it'll get more visible as we go along. <laughs> but yeah, let us scoot right on into it then. Gonna be doing some pencil stuff first, why not? But yeah. Hope everyone is having a good day if it's cold where you are. Um, I hope you're bundling up. It tried to snow here, but it didn't stick. Which I'm kind of glad about. I don't really want Snowpocalypse 2.0. Um, like happened last year around this time. But yeah. Oh, you know what we can do, though, um, before I get too lost in this? Um, instead of this music, we can play some other stuff. Wow, that's loud! Um, let's see here. Is it even funneling through? Yeah, I don't think it is. Alright, let's fix that. Um, where did I put it? We do volume mixer. We put this to that. There we go. That should be going through now. Perfect. Perfect. Gonna bump it up there a little. And then we can make the adjustments and ta-da! <laughs> it's literally just the same uh, song set thingy as before. Um, pretty much where we left off anyway. Um, because YouTube likes to save stuff, which is honestly very helpful. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. We've also got some, uh, pastel that we need to do. Scoot these guys out of the way. I might honestly move. Oh. Hand. Big hand. I might move that rag. It's nice to have, but at the same time, it might not be necessary right now. <laughs> anyway. More layers. Let's go. Oh. I think the color palette for this one is basically just like brown and red. Um, wait, that's not really the color that I meant to put on there. Oh well. Doesn't hurt to have a layer of it, I guess. Wait. Oh no. <laughs> Grab the wrong one, but only for one. Oh well. It can be hidden. He is fine. There we go. Yeah, I've just been kind of trying to figure out like a balance between realistic and cartoony for these. Cause I've definitely, uh, I don't know. I kind of went, maybe not off the deep end, but I've definitely spent more time and I have more interest in like the slightly more cartoony stuff but at the same time there's definitely worth in knowing how to do like super realistic stuff and i would love if especially like eyelashes gosh dang some people can paint some gorgeous eyelashes on dolls <laughs> uh that's a skill that i'm very jealous of in other artists but i don't know it's everything just takes time also there's some like yeah the way that some people do eyebrows is really pretty. <laughs> I don't know. Nothing wrong with cartoony, though. 
Because there's plenty of really skilled people doing that too. What am I trying to think of doing? Um, lips. I just had dinner, so I think I'm in like the beginning state. The stages of a food coma, so pardon me if my brain isn't thinking. <laughs> uh, same work, good brows. Yeah, yeah, eyebrows are difficult. Very difficult. Cool. I feel like I'm holding everything weird right now. Hmm started playing Pokemon Emerald on on my very legitimate uh, Game Boy Advance console that I definitely own currently. I do actually own a Game Boy Advance, but uh, this one's my very legitimate Game Boy Advance. Um, <laughs> uh, and yeah, I haven't gotten too far. I think I've gotten to like maybe the second gym. It's pretty good so far, though. I The third gen is one that I've never played. Technically, I haven't played first gen either. Um, I started with gen 4, but the via gen 2? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but just all the Pokemon content lately has made me think, like, hmm, maybe I do want to try it. And so, I did. And, I don't know. I don't know if it's, like, stream-worthy or anything. Um, at least, I don't know, I've already played it a little bit, so, I don't know. I don't know. Just gonna keep saying I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah. Definitely, definitely fun. Pokemon is fun. <laughs> You're right. Fun is fun. Basically. Uh, other than that, nothing's really been going on lately. <laughs> Um, I think, so, I, I've been complaining a lot about my wrists, but I think they're, uh, better now. I, when I was playing Emerald, actually, I think I, like, played through the, uh, the pain or something. I don't know. Somehow, like, they just stopped hurting, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> You're ancient, you started with the original blue? Psh! I th we're probably... Ugh, I've... <laughs> If anything, I am the more ancient one because I am, you know, 570. But um, as far as, like, exposure to uh, pop culture, we are probably about the same. <laughs> I'll put it that way. Because, yes, I do remember the 90s. And it's not that I wasn't old enough to to play it, obviously. Um, I just, I just didn't. <laughs> mm. do, 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 do. So much of this. Hmm. This one, I might as well try to, uh, work the eyebrows a little bit before I jump into the paint. Maybe that'll give me a better <laughs> end result. Ugh, I just never know how to tackle eyebrows. I don't know. If I want to go for kind of a cartoony style, I could just make them, like, blocks. Um, but with a little bit of detail. Kind of like... I mean, all of these. <laughs> but I don't know. What do I want to do? I want something vaguely natural looking. Uh, maybe I'll try and go for something kind of in the middle. Yeah, get the angle right for both me and the camera.
Ugh. That just happened. <laughs> Make all the weird grunting noises. That's become the standard for my stream, obviously. I feel like I say that every time. I don't know. <laughs> it's just one of those habit things, you know? You grunt, you uh, do weird stuff. But then again, if I was normal, I probably wouldn't be VTubing, so... <laughs> You know, comes with its pros and cons. I don't think any of this is really showing up yet, but... Pretend that it does. The hardest thing that I... <laughs> there we go again, saying about every single thing. Um, <laughs> uh, eyebrows, keeping them like evenly placed. I noticed when I was doing this head um, that this eyebrow was like too far over this way. Even though I thought that they were even, it turns out they really weren't at all. Um, or at the very least, I just have really bad uh, symmetry. <laughs> To be fair, I'm not a computer, so I guess that's to be expected. But yeah. Symmetry. And again, it's not like symmetry is the be-all end-all. So just... Just a wee bit of something. Whoop. Let's do a darker color so that it shows up a little bit. I don't want to do too much of this, but I do kind of want to do... Just a wee bit for some... Extra texture. I don't know. Because, yeah, I think the, the paint was too much, but I think the colored pencils will be a decent balance. At the very least, they're not near as aggressive. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, this needs sharpened. Ugh the bane of art. Unsharp pencils. Whoop. Scandalous. The glove is off. <laughs> plenty. Plenty. Whoop. a grumpy face this one has going for her. She getting grumpy. Grumpy. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I just need to sketch out some of this stuff a little bit better first before dropping in the uh the paints. Hmm. Did I get the nose? I think I got the nose, but we'll do one more. One more. Ugh. 
One time I had to go to the doctor and they gave me the COVID test where they like jam a cotton swab up your nose. <laughs> this was like uh, near-ish the start of the panini, so it was still kind of new. Um, I just, I was not expecting it. <laughs> um, but everything was fine. <laughs> it was just funny. Hmm. Oh, it's hard to resist the urge to just go straight to pastels at this point, but I think... Let me put one layer of pastel over the scar. And then I better seal this before doing much more. I'll be more more careful. <laughs> we aren't gonna go nuts. I will hold myself back. Yeah, it's probably about good. Let me go pop out of existence for that real quick. Let's, uh, boop. Hello. It's time for face number two, I think. Thank you. Uh, I think I'll work on this one. Um, it's pretty much done. It just needs a little bit more uh, layering of color, I think. So yeah, it shouldn't be too much longer. Gotta build up those purples. Hmm. Do we 
get a color on the nose. I don't know. That's the theme of this session. Put just a wee bit of color on the nose. <laughs> get the chin a bit warmer too. That needs to be spread around. Oh, oh, oh. Brushes! Brushes! <laughs> also, you like my brushes? They're unicorn horns too. Because <laughs> I can't not have everything be unicorn, you know? It's been new than another doll stream. If I become unresponsive, I'd probably feel asleep. Long week for you, but you're enjoying the process. No worries. It's fun doing this, and I'm glad that people actually, like, enjoy it. <laughs> And yeah, if you fall asleep, no worries. It's all good. Have a good sleep if it comes to that. I'm just gonna be chilling here until this is done, pretty much. <laughs> hmm. I think it is time to bring out the paint. We got our purples, and our whites, and our black, and brown. The usual suspects. Huh. And, I don't know, maybe I'll bring out a little, just a wee bit of silver in a bit. We'll see. Oop. It was really... It looked more translucent for some reason, but it must have just been the light. It looked like it was like basically see-through, which I was worried that it was just like poorly mixed. But apparently it was okay. Black, on the other hand, just globs in there. <laughs> Poiple. Ugh. Man, these paints are never going to be gone. I use so little of them. And honestly, I'm not sure how many more dolls I'm going to get. <laughs> I mean, over time, tastes for sure change and stuff. But like, I don't know. I'm at kind of like an equilibrium point with my collection. I know I said that last time too. But like, <laughs> who knows if I'm ever going to get to use a lot of these. And I don't know. I don't want to do commission work. I'm not, not confident enough for that. <laughs> and besides, I've got like 50 other things on my plate, so commissions would be a lot. Even if it was something that I was like, wanting to do. So for that in there, a little drop will do ya. And then we mix. Mix, 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 mix. We're going like Dora level of um, entertainment right now. We, we narrate every single thing that we're doing. Mix, 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 mix. I'm the map. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know, it's hard... So I want to try and find a balance between, like, I don't know, if I'm heavy focusing, I don't want to feel obligated to talk, but at the same time, like, I do want people to be entertained. Are you not entertained? <laughs> um, so just, I don't know, still practicing getting better at it, figuring out how to, like, talk and be interesting um, to the maximum of my abilities. But at the same time, like, not not force it so that it's really awkward. <laughs> um, yeah. Right, we mix in, we mix in, woo! Whoops. Into the water first. Water! It's okay to go quiet when you get in the zone or be like that. It's true. It's just, I don't know, that, that little voice in the back of your mind that's like, you've got to be entertaining. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you. Alright. Teeny tiny. 
shiny work. The teeniest, the tiniest, the workiest. We paint. New video game from Nintendo. We paint. <laughs> I think I went a bit too aggressive on the white paint on the the purple deer. Um, it's it's a little thick, <laughs> and not with a CC, um, but maybe with a CC. I'm kidding. Uh, I don't know. It's just a little. I wish they could like sand the paint down without it like doing weird damage to the actual face. Uh, I don't think it's that bad. I just, I wish it was a little milkier. But it's pretty much good. It's not like it needs much else then. And if I blush it a bit, maybe it'll look better. I don't know. Maybe instead of white, we should do some light purple for the eyebrows. We'll do that first, and then if we need more highlights. Doop. I am slowly mastering the art of basically no paint on the brush. Slowly. The itiest drop. The itty bittiest. Hmm. Just a little bit more gradient, mayhaps. Oh no! Well, that'll make it a gradient, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you caught it! Congrats! <laughs> Good job. It's a little tricky, isn't it? Yeah, if only I could just gradient just a little bit more. Eh, good. That's pretty good. And then just a little bit more on this one too. Uh the comment before the tragedy. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Even more super fine lines. <laughs> I'm happy every time I can get like a really tiny line. Now if I could just do it consistently. <laughs> eh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Half the battle is just Making sure the brush doesn't, like, curl at weird spots, I guess. Um, because this one, it's getting a little... Oh, it's hard to see. Um, but it's getting a little curly at the tip. That's probably just for me, like, not taking care of it properly. Or maybe that's just normal. I don't know. I don't actually know. <laughs> anyway... 
Hopefully. Just hoping that this turns out okay because I don't I don't want to have to redo this one again. Um, I guess if I really tried, I could find um, I could pull up my photos of the last time I did it with this face. It was a little too much. <laughs> I went a little heavy-handed on accident. So I guess the theme of this set of face-ups is super delicate. <laughs> Just as tiny a line as we can physically do. Remember cutting a brush down to a single strand for detail work on minis requires so much patience for detail work. Yeah, like, even though this is like a super thin brush, I feel like it needs to be even thinner for some of this stuff. Um, I, I have cut brushes down before, but even then it was like not near this um, aggressively thin. And yeah, one strand for minis especially. I could see that being <laughs> very important. <laughs> but yeah. It's getting there. Every single face up I do is a learning experience. I get better. I learn. <clears throat> the first ones that I did definitely had like, <clears throat> sorry, got something in my throat. Um, like, <laughs> they looked like spider legs, the eyelashes that I gave them. They were so creepy looking, <laughs> looking back on them. <laughs> a single strand and then still wiping the brush to get that one or two strokes worth of paint to lay down a thin line, yup. Yep, it's, it's what I'm doing off screen here is just wiping the brush to make sure it's like the least amount of paint that will give like the exact amount that I need. Ugh. <laughs> Gonna have to redo that one again. Took out the, the light purple. Ugh. Like I said, I'm in, like, pre-food coma, but words escape me <laughs> frequently. <clears throat> Sorry about all of the, uh, the stuff in my throat. Dinner do happen. <laughs> right. Yes, this is the one. There we go. There we go. I think I need to make the purple a little longer anyway. My hat is on my face. <laughs> Do hydrate if you need to. Uh, it's it's probably more so that I uh, had a cup of milk with dinner. And, and milk gets you all phlegmy, you know? A little gross. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's not like I'm, like, dying of dehydration or anything. I will take sips of water here and there as necessary, though. <laughs> oh, the curse. I really shouldn't have, but gosh dang it. I, I like milk too much to not have it. <laughs> but it does cause stuff like that if you're, like, talking a whole bunch right after. <laughs> Paranoid that I'm smudging the heck out of all of this work that I'm doing. <laughs> Had milk and a brownie after dinner. Ooh, sounds good. A very good combo. Ooh. Yeah, brownies are, like, 
god tier <laughs> for uh, snacks and desserts, I guess, more so than snacks, <laughs> obviously. Um, but yeah, very good, very tasty. I'm trying to think, um, god, yeah, aside from like. Uh, my mom makes really good chocolate chip cookies, and those are kind of like the top of the top tier. But other than that, yeah, like brownies are really good. Um, especially there's the kind where you can get like the uh, the salted caramel top on them. Very delicious. Um, I also have a recipe for like, in some like really dorky like, it, it just looks like it's like straight out of the 50s with the way that it's presented, the cookbook. Um, but it makes like the best brownies I've ever had in my life and it basically just uses like a whole pack of da -ba -da -ba -da 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 chocolate chips it's so good Every once in a while I notice this thing where I feel like I'm like focusing like too hard and then my eyes just like can't focus as much as they want to so they just like freak out and like unfocus. It's weird. I think it mostly only happens when I'm doing like this kind of like super super fine detailing stuff where I'm like really looking in but like I don't know it's weird. Maybe I do need the magnifying glass. Maybe we're at that point. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. It's an interesting expression. She's got kind of like a, huh? One, one quirked eyebrow look almost. I dig it. I dig it. Hmm. Like it still needs something, but I don't know what. I did say I was gonna break out the silver, so maybe I'll do a bit of that. Yeah. <laughs> Leaning off screen like a like a pro. Yeah, we'll get just a little bit of that, maybe, on the eye. Yeah, I don't really know if there's much more to do with this face. It's getting close to done, at least. Uh... Shiny and chrome. <laughs> to put this and then at the very least I can probably get some in the stars just give it a little bit of a little bit of spice I don't know <laughs> a little shiny And then I'm trying to decide whether I want the silver on the outer side or the inner side of the eyeliner. Or uh, eyeshadow, I guess. There we go, nice and shiny. Yeah. Very fancy. Very glam. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. Um. Mm. Yeah, 
I'll do just like a thin line right above the eyeliner. Hmm. It's very noticeable in certain light, but in other light, it like disappears. It's kind of a cool effect. I feel like I'm not doing it justice, though. <laughs> Maybe I will make it a bit thicker up here. Just do kind of this whole area. And then thin it out, yeah. There we go. Try and connect it right here. Yeah, and then maybe one coat of purple over it. Um just to make it, you know, look more <laughs> blended in. Cause I think the purple over the silver looks pretty good. And it doesn't detract from the purple or from the silver too much. <laughs> a near 360 spin such talent such skill <laughs> that's a cool effect thank you much still. That's too much, Bob. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't. Felt like it was. But now there's like nothing on the brush. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Just a couple more steps on this one. <laughs> hmm. Let the silver dry a pinch. Uh, I feel like I need to actually sharpen up the eyebrows a little bit. Let's use pencils for that though just because right now it feels a little blotchy <laughs> Ugh, my inner perfectionist cannot take it refuses to believe it oh no Ugh. <laughs> nothing serious the uh, the pencil tip just broke Sharpen, sharpen, sharpen. No! It keeps breaking. Why does it do this to me? It just wants me to suffer. Let's see here. There's. In there. 
<laughs> Gremlin brain wants to reach in there with my finger, but I know I can't. No. Oh, it's over here. Cool. This is technically a tool for, like, my airbrush, but you know what? Multi-use tool. <laughs> Just get that out of there. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Close that up so I don't end up stabbing myself. That would be a painful thing. It's a very sharp point. Oh. No, it is just very breaky. Like my achy, breaky heart. <laughs> Nah. Nah. Alright, one more try, and if it doesn't work this time, we're using a different one. Alright, <laughs> we're using a different one. Ugh. Oh. Man. Take such good care of them, and then they still just do that to me. So rude. Whatever. It'll be fixed later. Just... Not right now. We can just kind of do get some of that going, and then just make this side like darker. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing it. We're doing the thing. We're playing the feud. <laughs> no, 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 no. We don't... We don't need to add to the tail of it. Oh, gosh. What have I done? <laughs> there we go. There we go. And let's make it even darker. Even darker! It's gonna go straight to like black for this point. Charcoal gray, even. Some, some gradient. <laughs> Just blow all the pastels away while I'm at it. go. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Alright, now I think it's dry enough. I can put some purple on it. Put a purple on it. There we go. Tinting it purple. And with that, we're basically out of purple, so perfect time. Although I guess I could always just, you know, can always make more if I need it. <laughs> it's not like it's in a super finite supply. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Hoping that the purple will show up a bit better. Maybe I'll put a little bit of a blush on the cheeks. Mm. This one. Just a bit more since it hasn't really shown up. Yeah. Oh, yes, and almost.
almost forgot. <laughs> the finishing touch. Ugh, it ain't a my face up. I don't add the cute little little cheek sparklies. Doesn't really need them over here, but we can put it there. Boop, boop. And boop, boop. there we go. Good. <laughs> I don't know. I just like doing those. Uh, definitely inspired by um. Oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Um, the the, the Kata Kyo Hitman Reborn, Reborn, the art by the end was so pretty. Talk about like an art glow up. <laughs> um, but yeah, I definitely I like doing the little like cheek blush because of that. I really like how they paint. Anyway, let me uh go seal this real quick. I will. BRB yet again. And then we boop. Hello! I have returned from my very distant journey <laughs> to my back door. <laughs> Let's see here. And this one, I think we're gonna switch back to this one. Um, just because, <laughs> as I was saying earlier, it has more that needs done to it than the others. So it gets priority, basically. <laughs> Arms way. <laughs> Just don't want it getting accidentally painted on or something. Like paint dropped on it. That would be tragic. This girl I'm trying, she's the the concept that I have for her is kind of sporty. Um, I don't know. It wasn't bad last time. I just feel like I could make it a little more, uh, <laughs> or a little less like. I don't know what. I could have definitely saved the face. I just didn't want to. I don't. I don't know what quite was going through my head. I think I just got too wrapped up in it. Um, but we'll definitely give her a little bit more of a sporty natural look. Even more this time. We'll do it. <laughs> that one was practice, you know? 
Always gotta practice. Uh, hmm. I think it's time to, to dip into the paints, though. Just always raring to go with the paint, apparently. <laughs> Used to be a not very fond thing of mine in this process, but I think over time I've just started really liking um, like the amount of control you have over acrylic um, slash uh, paint in general, as opposed to like the colored or the uh, watercolor pencils. You can just get like, I don't know, there's just some places that you can't reach with a pencil that you can with a paintbrush. For instance, the mouth. <laughs> really annoying um, to try and do if you don't have any of these uh, itty bitty brushes. <laughs> it's very precariously placed, I guess, Sly Cooper again. I should have figured. It just sounds like Sly Cooper music, and I had to, like, make sure. <laughs> you know what I can do? Put this over there. Um, boop. Boop. There we go. Now I don't have to switch screens and be weird about it. <laughs> I know what this one is. Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Ugh, man, I missed out on like half of the series. I did get like the, uh, the, the, I guess it was a PS4 collection, but I got it on PS5. Uh, sometime around Christmas, it was on sale. So it's like, you know what? Why not? I don't know if it'll be an on-stream kind of thing. That would be another commitment, and currently Tales of Arise is the long-term commitment. But I don't know. After that, I definitely want to play another JRPG of some kind. Because <laughs> I do like them a lot. Um, but I have a lot of options. Um, we'll see what we're feeling at that point, I think. I think we're close-ish. <laughs> we're getting there with Tales of Arise. I, I definitely didn't need to uh, dawdle as much with all the side quests last time. <laughs> but whatever. It's my game and I'll play it how I want. It's my money and I need it now. Uh, what am I gonna do for the eyes? <laughs> I don't want to just repeat what I was gonna do before. We are going to map it out. Uh, something very very light. I also don't want to like chip anything. Ugh. This is a very light pen or pencil. <laughs> Great. This one will be darker. So this board thingy that I'm on. Um, it's from back in, like, college. I took a few art classes, because at first I wanted to be, like, in, in the illustration department. That, uh, didn't go as planned. <laughs> um, but that's fine, because then I found other stuff that I liked. Um, but this board, I definitely have doodled some random junk on it from back then, but, um, let's see here if I can show it. 
Um, <laughs> even back then, I was very much into Manaphy. Um, I don't know, just a goofy little comic. Spirit Pokemon, help me finish my homework! And then we end up chilling in the pool instead. <laughs> you don't know what homework is! I don't know. I thought it was funny when I saw it again. <laughs> I haven't looked at this in ages. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, I just thought it was dorky. Hmm, hmm, eyelashes. Why must you be so hard to draw? Do. Hmm. This one. Let's get a new little. A new lad. As we nest all of this in here. can go back there for now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let me just do the same thing over here. Dupe, dupe, and dupe. Pretty even. Okay. And then the top lid. The eyelids. Um, I think that one I can mostly just do... In... Uh, paint. But I might as well mark out what I want, I guess. Just that it's not, like, super <laughs> uneven. I think it even has some sculpting here, which is what I'm following. Thank heavens. Ugh. I've been seeing this trend um, in a lot of, like, small artist sculpts where they, like, sculpt out all like the creases on the lips <laughs> um i don't know i think there are definitely some artists that can make it work it definitely wouldn't be something that i'd be uh very keen on though and i don't know just lots of cool stuff people definitely push the uh, boundaries of sculpting with a lot of these big respect for the people who can sculpt <laughs> It is not a skill that I possessed, or possess current form. Um, in fact, before I bought the elf ears for uh, mini-me, I guess, um, I tried to sculpt some. I was admittedly just using, like, uh, whatever that, like, foam clay that Crayola has. I was using some of that, and it was definitely not great. <laughs> um, hmm. Alright, we're holding off on that. Ugh. Let's break out. Now we can break out the paint. I also need to widen the eyeliner directly around the eye. Just that it's not completely bare. I also think I need to decide whether I want uh, falsy eyelashes. Sorry, half of this is happening like off screen. Let's just put this up a little bit so that it's more 
the correct way. But yeah, I definitely have the right eyelashes for her. I just need to uh, decide whether I want them. I think I might. At the very least, it doesn't hurt to, like, you know, put them up to it. Uh, see if I like it. I don't have to glue them in if I don't want to. <laughs> Is easy. I was also wondering if I wanted to put any in uh, Unia. Unia Junior? Junior? <laughs> How many puns can I come up with for Unia Junior? Probably just that one, let's be real. But hey, it was fun, right? <laughs> How many of these like eye folds <laughs> I can do? Uh, definitely, I don't know. I feel like it bumps a lot of these kind of like up a level of how they look. If you can get like the eye folds looking good, um, I've never really focused on that before though. So <laughs> it's a skill that still needs a lot of practice for me. And that is why I am struggling and grunting every five seconds. Luckily, since this is brown, um, it kind of just blends in a little bit, which gives me a little bit of leeway. What I want to do for it. Like, none of this is getting shown on camera, sorry. And then the final one. Just gotta hold stuff at weird angles sometimes, you know? I don't know. I also find that, like, holding things upside down really doesn't help me that much. I know it's supposed to be, like, you know, the best kept secret of the art community on how to get things, like... Nice looking. Ugh, need to catch the light too. This side maybe. Yeah. Mm. Just sometimes it's just not the angle that's most comfy. Ugh. But then things get wonky. Any? No. There's no wet paint on this brush. The daintiest lines. <laughs> proud of that. <laughs> Aww. Very nice. I'm very happy with that. Now I need to, uh, <laughs> I guess, ugh, get the right mix for the, the in-betweens. Just, just a hair of white to make it lighter. Maybe even a hair more. It might be too late. Eh. I guess I'll just put down some shading over it so it's not like it's that big a deal. <laughs> yeah. 
pastel. That's the word I'm looking for. Pastels are what you use. Need to get the right light. I'm sorry that it means turning away. There we go. <laughs> and then we'll put some blushing on it to seal the deal in a bit. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll probably go over it one more time with black too. Ended up covering just a little bit of it. We can refine it though. It'll be fine. He's fine. And I feel like I just <laughs> completely did over everything right there. Oh well. That can be fixed. The brown was just kind of the, uh, the base for all of this. And now we can put, like, the fancy pretty gradient, if I can, you know, get that working right. <laughs> Yay. I feel like I've leveled up. I'm glad it wasn't like a hit your head in the wall for, like, five tries kind of thing. <laughs> Because those can get really frustrating when you just can't break free of them. But I think I just, yeah. Just over time, learning patience, because this is definitely not a overnight process by any means. That's not showing up. And it's still definitely not perfect by any means, but got the gist of it down now. <laughs> I feel like I had a question that I wanted to ask that I, like, saved from the other day, but I never wrote it down or anything, so I totally forgot it. <laughs> oh, so organized, so on top of things. I need to start writing stuff down if I ever want to talk about it on stream. <laughs> My brain does not remember things past, like... I sleep and it's gone. I know that's like normal, but still. <laughs> Ugh. Many a things have been forgotten because I think, oh, I'll remember it in the morning. Morning. I 
and then I don't. Like if you cry every time. <laughs> you know, the saddest story in existence. Hmm. This will all be nice and shiny once I get, or once I put the gloss on it at the very end. But until then, it's just a little Matt and hard to see. Just a little guy named Matt. <laughs> and also hard to see. <laughs> you know, because he's so short and all. Nah. <laughs> Line work of champions. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I still feel like this needs to be like five times thinner of a brush. I just look at some of like the professional stuff, um, like some of the heads, or some of the dolls that I have have like professional face-ups like by the companies and stuff, and it's like just looking at how thin their lines are, it's like, it's, how do you get it even thinner than this? Like I'm trying so hard to make it thin, and yet they just make it even more thin. Nuts. Too much skill. <laughs> At the very least, they are being paid, uh, as far as I know, well, for their work, as they should be. Yeah, because, yeah, this ain't, this ain't easy. Yeah. And I promise that wasn't me just whining. <laughs> me appreciating people who are even like super high level <laughs> I was about to say even better than me but that just sounds really like obnoxious saying it that way <laughs> uh, but yeah I don't know I don't know I guess I should have confidence and like I am decent at this more than decent I put in the work I I get the the skills I just I don't know. Uh, psychoanalyzing therapy time with Unia. <laughs> yes. Yes. And how does that make you feel? Well, Doc, it makes me feel very, very silly. Um. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this like all the fancy people do. I wonder. Just take our time, go very slow, and I've still got the rest of the eyelashes to do. Oop. Dang, that brush stroke was... <clears throat> Not proud of it. <laughs> I'm proud of specific brush strokes now. That's how specific we're being. Taper off to the brown. And I'll just do a whole bunch of. Not a whole bunch, but hopefully enough eyebrow strokes that don't look weird. Ugh. Ugh, this is giving me so much anxiety. <laughs> 
Uh, I just, I know there's a certain way that, like, artists paint them on and it just looks so pretty. And I've, I've tried studying it, I just can't wrap my head around it. So we're just gonna kind of BS it until it looks okay. And there's like a point where they like switch it the other direction. Yeah. Something like that. That was a bad example. <laughs> or that was a bad. Uh, it's hidden within. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> day in which Yunia learns how to draw eyebrows the fancy way. Still a bit far off, unfortunately. But, you know, it's starting to look better. Oh, Kingdom Hearts 2. Interesting. Did not quite notice this was a Kingdom Hearts song. Uh. Uh. Hmm. And it's really hard to see, but it doesn't look bad. <laughs> Maybe with a little more um, overlapping on the black hairs, just to uh, blend it in a pinch instead of being like stand out. Cause yeah, it doesn't need to be that obvious. <laughs> okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. It's not perfect. But, I mean, I guess nothing is perfect. <laughs> We're just gonna keep telling ourselves that. I'm gonna keep telling myself that. You don't have to tell yourself anything. I don't know. I use we a lot. Yet another therapy session with Unia. Um, I don't know why that would need therapy. <laughs> Psychoanalyzing, there we go. Not really therapy, just picking the brain. Rambling for topics. Until something happens. And then suddenly I can paint like a pro and everyone is happy. Especially me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. One time as a wee bab um internet user, someone made a comment I had a deviant art back in the day. <laughs> And they said, all your draws are beautiful, and that stuck with me. And honestly, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I can live up to that, but I try. I try to make all my draws beautiful. These eyebrows are not... are not the same. But it's okay. Because they aren't supposed to be supposed to be similar but not the same. I am just rambling until I can think of stuff. Not until I can think of stuff. I can think of stuff right now. I am speaking words. <laughs> Ugh, losing my mind while painting eyebrows. Fitting. Uh, I don't want to touch that eyebrow, but at the same time, it's just, it's not... Uh, I don't know, do I care that it's slightly different? Yes. 
<laughs> um, should I care? Probably not. I think maybe what I want to do instead is try and fight back uh, this one a pinch instead of trying to make that one different. Because I would much rather this one be just a bit less fluffy right there. A bit further, even. <laughs> Bring out yet more. Go. These lose their point, and then they get all like dirty at the point too. You lose so many good Q-tips that way. <laughs> Hope I'm not like smearing it too badly. Considering most of this is the uh, colored pencil, watercolor pencil. Come on, all I want is to just pick up just a little bit of the acrylic. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's as much as the acrylic as we're picking up. <laughs> Let's see if I can mimic just a little bit better that part. Eh. Eyebrows. Stop giving me trouble. I'm just kinda. Uh, uh. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> I feel like I don't know what I did that made this one look so cool, so I just kinda <laughs> messed it up over here. Oh. So, made the top part not as pronounced. That's easier to fix, though. Like so. We'll do just a couple little hairs out here. Extra fuzzy. Eee. Look at that. It looks vaguely right. <laughs> I don't want to mess with them too much more. I don't want to mess with them too much more. Um. Hmm. What am I um humming for this time? The world may never know. Just considering everything. Oh yes, the eyelashes. Cannot forget. Cannot forget. Yeah, which direction? <laughs> the perfect song for my triumphant Whatever. Blend it in. And delicately paint. I'm gonna cover it with, not cover it, but go over it again with black. Just to get it even more uh, pronounced. In spots. Yeah. Pardon the arm. I'm trying to wipe this like for realsies. <laughs> Just trying to make sure because it's so um it got really curved. I want to fix that. <laughs> so that I can get the best point possible. Oh, look at that beautiful point. 
Beautiful. Beautiful. She's beautiful. <laughs> Yeah. E. The sharp inhale as I do anything. Sharpest lines this side of New Delaware. I don't know. That's not a real place. I hope it's not a real place. If it is, I guess shout out to New Delaware. <laughs> It is. I'm just gonna trail off right there. We'll never need to finish that line. Uh huh. Oh, that one got a little sharp or wide. Whatever. It's okay if they're not perfect. Is okay. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, definitely need more of this while that's drying. Just constantly put more of this on there. <laughs> Make the scab. Or the scar. It's a little, there's no more scabbing on it. <laughs> Though I guess if it's red like this, it probably means it's still fresh. I don't know. We're going by rule of cool. So having a little bit of a line around it still. I was also considering uh, putting some glue down as the base just to have it like raised up a bit. But obviously I didn't go through with that. Um, that was definitely an option on the table though. I just didn't. I don't know. Could have been cool. But at this point, it's okay. Hmm. Here's the brush. Yeah. More, more. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to get just a little bit more of that chalk. Just want to blend this in a little better. Yeah. Cause otherwise, it just stood out just a bit too much. Castlevania is what this song is from, apparently. Yeah. Just a bit of that down here, too. And then we're gonna need to put a bit more blush on, since that's basically gone. It got uh, melted into oblivion with the... Whatchamacallit? The sealant. But it's okay, that was kind of expected. Yep, I am running out of pastel on this. <laughs> Which 
will soon be out. Ultimately, I'm not sure if I'd call this natural, but it sure looks cool, you know? <laughs> and as we've already established, cool is more important than anything else. These teeth painted. Teeth. Tifa. Or as Cloud in Advent Children would say, Tifa. <laughs> Probably gonna have to go over them one more time, uh, depending on how I do. Uh, whether I do another layer on the lips. Probably will. Man, these teeth are really annoying to get to. <laughs> just go very delicately, though. It'll turn out just fine. Just a little bit connecting them. Yeah. yeah, so she's really sporty, so I, and I don't have a lot of sporty outfits, so I ended up ordering her some stuff. Most of her outfits here, um, but the shoes will be here, like, tomorrow, probably. <laughs> Uh, would masking hoof sounds like a narrow area to paint? I mean, probably, ultimately, but it's so sh tiny that, like, even the masking would just take forever, and it's just as easy to do this. It just takes a little focus. Luckily, the mouth is open more than some of the others. <laughs> um, I didn't even try to fill in the inside of sorry to put her on screen like this but I didn't even try to fill in the middle of her lips just because I was like I'm not gonna reach in there um and worry about it I shouldn't have grabbed her with my uh paint not paint uh this hand but whatever <laughs> the outfit can handle that much <laughs> yeah it's coming together it's doing fine. Um, this is definitely one of the reasons why I prefer larger sculpts, though. <laughs> the bigger the head, the easier it is to get in all these little itty bitty spots. <sighs> it's just some natural weathering, exactly. It's, you know, that wabi-sabi that everyone's so crazy about. It'll look good once it's all glossed up. <laughs> I'm very excited to see what this looks like once it's finally, like, glossed up and done. Huh. It's kind of funny how I'm holding it right now, just covering the eyes. <laughs> you can't see anything, it's okay. We're doing some, uh, a routine dental procedure to uh, whiten your teeth. It'll be over before you know it. You know? My, these are quite the teeth you have. <laughs> yeah. I might do one more layer in a bit, just because it's a little rough. But... 
First run, not bad. Hope you post some final pictures. For sure, I'm gonna do like a little... A little dorky photo shoot with them once they're done. <laughs> so that they all get like... A little close up and stuff. Um, with a, you know, a slightly better camera at least. Um, so that the details are a little more apparent. Because, yeah, what's the point if you only get to see this part? <laughs> Super dork it up, love it. Exactly. I kind of want to test something out, because um, some of them are really tall, so I want to see if I can, like, put a photo on, like, my TV as a backdrop. <laughs> I wonder if that would work out well. Wow. Something knocked outside, sorry. Spooked me. Maybe it's my neighbor telling me to shut up. <laughs> I doubt that's the case. I don't think I talk that loud, but you never know. It sounds like they just got home. I got nothing. Nothing. Just get a green drop cloth and green screen it in. You're not wrong. It's just the space issue. <laughs> you see, I am in a very, very small place. It is, uh, like, just on, not just under, it's, it's under 600 square feet. Um, space is... About as much as is going to be given. <laughs> I don't know, that's just my lazy excuse. I probably do have space for one cloth of green. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Worst case, there's a lot of pretty stuff outside. I can always just take them out for a little shoot. <laughs> I can take them out. But the box takes up space. Oh, oh, I see. I, I missed a thing. I built a light box with a white curved paper to reduce shadows for pictures. Yeah, but the box takes up space. Yeah, for sure. Light boxes are something I, I do at some point wish that I could get better at, like, doll photography and stuff. Um, for the most part, a lot of... I have, like, an Instagram for all my doll stuff, and it's just, like... I mean, it's just dorky photos. <laughs> uh, like, phone camera photos um which isn't terrible it's not like my phone has a bad camera on it but like someday i want to do cool photo shoots and light boxes are are big <laughs> 600 square feet well i can see why you're limiting your collection size exactly i have hit like maximum capacity my room is about as full as it can get with dolls <laughs> half the fun though it's true dorky photo shoots heck yeah yeah i haven't i don't know i've definitely been in like a lull for like doll hobby stuff um but i kind of want to get back into some of that i think once spring rolls around my parents have a cherry blossom tree in front of their house and so it's almost like a uh, yearly Ritual for me to take at least one doll and get a photo shoot on that. Because why not? It's very aesthetic. Yeah, and yeah, it is about time. Wow, these eyelashes are longer than these ones. Let's, uh, let's remedy that just a little bit. We'll make these a little more glam. Just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. There we go. No, 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 no. 
Still too much on the brush. <laughs> Ugh. A little cleaning it. I think it was at that point where, like, the paint was just building up on it to make, like, a weird curve. I saw some, like, ad... Uh, I forget where. It was probably on Instagram, just because, like, that's one of the few places that, like, I get ads. Um, but it was for some, like, mascara, and it just... The, the model was adding so much of it uh, to show that it was, like, um, super, uh, I don't know, build upable And they made, like, lashes that were, like, <laughs> from the eye. They were, like, uh, super long. They were basically, like, gravity had an effect on them, so obviously they weren't, like, straight out. But they were just, like, these really freakishly long lashes. It was so weird. Um, I don't know. It, it stuck with me, though, so I guess their uh, marketing worked. <laughs> it's just so weird. Lashes for days. Yup. And I doubt they'd actually do that in reality. I, I wonder if some, like, bleh. why did I even try? <laughs> why did I even try to add more to this? But I was wondering... I have a feeling some, like, makeup YouTubers have already, like, taken their shots at it. <laughs> I hope so, at least, because it looked funny. Yeah. Might let that dry for a second, and I think I'll have just a little bit more powder and stuff. Um, oh, here's this set. I was like, let me go get the other one. No. Uh, we'll work on this one for a minute. Let's see. Um, I'll do one more layer. Hopefully it'll be nice and even on the forehead. Just to kind of even that out and get it nice and less uh, paint whatever e <laughs> paint streaks. There we go. Can't see the brush. Psychonauts. Never played it, but I saw someone play it uh, last year, like right before Psychonauts 2 came out. It looks interesting. It's very much, I mean, it's a PS2 game of like, I don't know. I do love that generation of games though. GameCube and PS2 were so good. <laughs> Mm. Oh no, no! Yeah, this is what I get. <laughs> I'm playing with fire. <laughs> I think that's about good on that, though. want to add um let me blow my nose real quick i know i've been sniffling yes delicious interlaced graphics lol i mean i don't know playstation 2 i don't think is as bad as everyone remembers it to be but it was definitely not you know it ain't uh uh i guess playstation and uh gamecube not the highest fidelity graphics but still they look better than people think they did. The PS1, eh, maybe more so. <laughs> um, let me blow my nose real quick, because I've been sniffling so much because of the cold. For sure, nostalgia is definitely a factor. Um, and yes, 
that was definitely like my generation of games. So I, I definitely do have rose colored glasses for back then. Um, but yeah, there were definitely a lot of fun games then too. Not like there aren't now. I know there's a lot of games. I think there's a lot of games now, like in the last few years that have really started banking on like that era of nostalgia. Cause we've had like, you know, retro pixel games for forever. Um, but there are definitely companies making like a uh, GameCube PS2 era nostalgia now. And that's kind of fun. So definitely, at the very least, it's more geared towards me. <laughs> so I like it better. But yeah. Okay, I don't want to mess this up, but also I think I want to make like a little bit more lashes on the eyes. Um, just a couple on like the sides. So, you know, fingers crossed that we don't, I don't mess this up entirely. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I will. I think I've got the gist of what to do down now. Just like that. And like one over here. Yeah. <laughs> your generation is older, uh, but PS2 was the first system you bought for yourself, so got some nostalgia for it, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, very good. Yeah. Uh, Nintendo 64 was technically my first console. Um, yeah. <laughs> Over 250 PS2 games? Oh my goodness. We never had a ton of games. We definitely... I mean, we rented a fair amount, but we still didn't have, like, probably only had, like, a handful of games per console. <laughs> um, but yeah. I don't know. That's really cool, though, having that many games. <laughs> it would be really hard. I feel like I'd get a little bit of, uh, oh, what is it, choice paralysis if I had that many games. <laughs> I don't know. As if, I think over time, I've definitely gotten a lot more games though you know just over time there's no more paint on that brush no more no more yeah. maybe a little lower than the other one oh well <sighs> similar not identical Draw this one out a bit more, though. Yeah, there we go. And then just an itty bitty little notch. Oop. Sad thing is, you never got a chance to play most of them. Had already started working lots of hours, so it was just a uh, I'll play when I have the time kind of thing. There never has been time. Oh, I feel that so much. I have. <laughs> Such a backlog of games, and if I wasn't streaming, I literally wouldn't get to, like, any of them. In fact, I haven't gotten to most of them. <laughs> oh, man. I picked a lot of them up for 20 or less. Nice. Yeah. I'm sure whenever you end up getting to them, they will be very fun. And I hope you have time to do that soon. Because, yeah, not being able to play games that, like, you want to play, torture. Straight up torture. <laughs> Brother sold a lot of them when I moved out, and so they're just gone. Aw, oh, man. Yeah. Sold a few games that I regret. Um, mostly just the Pokemon games. I sold them a while ago because I was on some big, like, I don't need all my stuff kick, and I was moving, and I was like, I don't, I don't want to have all this stuff when I move. Um, but then, like, I don't know, got a hankering for a Pokemon game every once in a while. 
but then, I don't know. I mean, there's ways to play a lot of games on um, very legitimate consoles. <laughs> um, so it's not always the end of the world if you don't have, like, the physical version on hand with you. But it is kind of sad when you, you know, you miss having the physical version. Sometimes it's just special like that. And sometimes, yeah, there are some that are just really hard to find. Um, in very legitimate, um, <laughs> whatever's. I feel less bad about selling games that you can emulate, but I like keeping the physical games that mean something to me. Exactly! Yeah, there is something special about physical media. I usually get my games when I can on physical media. It just, yeah, feels more solid. <laughs> and some games, like, you just really want the specialness of having it physical. Um, let's see here, I need to get a bit of this. Get some things out of the way. Ugh. And the pastels out. Didn't know if I'd need more, so I didn't really get them ready. <sighs> this pastel box comes with some foam in it. I hate, I hate the feel of foam so much. I haven't stopped buying games, but I have slowed down a bit. I'm getting close to 100 Switch games. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I... Gosh, how many do I have? I don't think I have that many. Um, but I definitely, like, have run out of space in, like, the case that I was using and stuff. Um, yeah. I don't know. Storage, man. Just always, always an issue. <laughs> well, let's get a bit more of this, too. So while I'm at it, we'll get just a bit more of the skin tones. I haven't beat a single Switch game. I have much more space, at least. True. Yeah. Um... I definitely sometimes feel like that character from Jimmy Neutron, like the villain who can't finish anything, um, like not even like their bagel for lunch kind of thing. Um, Cause I, <laughs> oh, I haven't finished a ton of games either, just in general. Um, but I literally got to like the Ganondorf fight in Legend of Zelda uh, Breath of the Wild. And then I just stopped playing. <laughs> like, what's wrong? Why do I do that? It's so silly. Any other colors? I think that's it. Ugh. Yeah. The struggle. And to be fair, then the rest of my time that I'm not playing, like, uh, those kinds of games. If I'm playing a game, it's usually, like, Animal Crossing, which never has an end. Stop playing toward the end, end of minigames because I don't want it to be over. I think that's what it is. Because um, I get that, too. There's a lot of games where, like, you hit near the end and you're like, but but what if it's over? Because, <laughs> I don't know, knowing myself, like, once I finish something, I don't usually go back. Like, I don't rewatch a lot of movies, even if I like them a lot. Exactly. Um... And yeah, if you never finish it, you never have to, like, uh, stop playing it. But then you stop before you, the end, and then you never play it again anyway. So it's just, oh, it, it's such, like, a uh, oxymoron, I guess. <laughs> but I get that completely. <laughs> Actually, I take it back. Did be Dragon Quest 1 on Switch? Yes! Nice. Very fun. Very fun. So I, think, I think the only Dragon Quest game that I've played is 9. It was on the DS Sentinels of the Starry Sky. It was basically one where you like get to custom myself. I just remember that. But that one I still have. Dragon Quest 2 and 3 on the same cart. 9 was good. Yeah. Yeah, 9 was fun. It was very long. I 
it's like the only Dragon Quest I played, so I didn't quite. It took me a while to get like into the flow of it, but then it was really fun. <laughs> um, I'm also interested in Eleven, but I've never got it, and I don't know. I don't know if I have like a hundred hours to sink into a game. <laughs> Uh, I say as I'm playing Tales of Arise, but at least that one's for stream. I don't know. I guess eventually, if I did get it, I could stream it. Uh, it's a lot of hours, yeah. Yeah, then there's also Persona. Uh, my friends are very into P Persona 5, and I have it, I just haven't played it. <laughs> but it's another one that's like so many hours, yeah. It's unfortunate that a lot of the games, the style that I like, is also the genre that takes up so much time. And then I don't want to play it. <laughs> Ugh. I love RPGs. I love that, you know, they're long stories, but sometimes it's too long of a story. <laughs> Why can't they just pare it down, you know? You have another issue you want to make your own game too. Ooh! When you get into a game, I'm also thinking it could be worth it on my own projects. So I play nothing. Yeah! <laughs> too into the game design elements, and then you just like overthink and then stop. Yeah. <laughs> the, the brain. The brain is our worst enemy, and yet our has to be our best friend too. I don't know, that's, that's not a saying. I don't know what that is. Um... <laughs> But yeah, man, I don't know why our brains psych us out so much in weird ways. Why can't it just be normal? <laughs> hmm. I feel like there's more to do with this one. Every time I've poured mostly into art lately. I mean, at least it's something fun. Art is always fun and good. <laughs> um, I don't know. That's such like a generic blanket statement, I know. But like, I don't know. Art isn't a bad thing to be spending time on, at least. I'm a little frustrated because apparently my gloves were a little stained and so now this has like a little bit of staining on the ear, but at least it's on the back so no one's really ever gonna see it. So I don't care that much, but I am a little like, ah oh, dang it, <laughs> why didn't I catch it before I sealed it? <laughs> Not wrong with that. Yeah. I don't know. I definitely overthink a lot of things. <laughs> I'm so hypercritical of a lot of stuff that I do. Especially like art because it's such it's something that I've done for so long and like I don't know. I just I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> And so when things don't go perfectly, it can be really frustrating. But, I don't know, learning to like let go of things that like don't matter. A lifelong thing that needs to be learned. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know, like I said, it's not like it's a big deal, it's in the back. A giant like up ear shot. <laughs> I think by coloring over it like this, it'll be fine too. Shouldn't be too visible, even when you look at the back. She's also gonna be wearing fluffy hair anyway, so <laughs> I really shouldn't worry at all. 
It's got like a really fluffy pink wig. I feel like most of my dolls have pink wigs. Ugh, I just like pink. Too much. So then they all end up with pink hair. Whoop. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I have one more doll. I'm trying to take your own advice more too. If your is an improvement over the last one, it's just another step on your journey. Exactly. You can't plan out every step and hope to get to your destination. Sometimes you just gotta go. Yeah, for sure. It's definitely. And sometimes, like the things that you thought were mistakes, maybe you... they weren't. Or at the very least, I mean, every mistake teaches you something, especially in in creative fields. Every time you make a mistake. It ends up being something that helps you the next time you do something. So being too precious about it isn't really worth it. <laughs> mm. What else is there on this one? I feel like the eyebrows need a little bit of work, but I don't know what to do with them. Got what I was going to say just now, but that's fine. <laughs> if I remember it, good. If I don't, well, it wasn't that important, obviously. <laughs> I'll just put a little bit more line into it. Stop trying for 15 years and you regret it. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's tough. Um, I definitely... I used to draw, like, all the time when I was in school. Um, just because it was so easy. Like, you bring a sketchbook to class and then you just kind of, like, do it. <laughs> um, but then, like, once I, you know, got, like, a... An adult human job <laughs> described in you know very specific terms like that um, but just there's no time for it and so I just didn't do art for a while and it's I don't know it's hard to carve out time when you're like super tired after work so many hours of free time wasted as a kid <laughs> yeah <laughs> I don't know I mean it's not like it was wasted you're doing other stuff that was also you know useful to you as a person it's not like art is the only thing. Um, and experiencing other things can help with your art. So if you, I don't know, just think of it as like an extended break rather than like wasted time. Because, <laughs> um, I don't know, art is for all ages. And if you end up not doing it for a while, it's not terrible. You can always pick it back up. Generally, it's like a bicycle, you know? pick up kind of where you left off. Or maybe even better, in a lot of ways, if you get new inspiration. Eh. That didn't turn out as good. <laughs> we'll just make it look better. We'll fix it. It's okay. Mama will fix it. Mama... Only cooking mama could be face up mama and give me like all the fixing help. <laughs> it's okay, I've gotta be my own face up mama. <laughs> yeah. Um I think I wanna try this. Will be any good though. Just kinda wanna simulate a little bit of fur. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I might not like that. I said Mama would be a fun game. It would be very niche, but I mean, I'm sure someone could enjoy it. Let Mama fix it. Yeah. I think Cooking Mama was like the first game I had on the DS. <laughs> Hydrate and stretch your team time. Yeah. Someday I'll have stuff to redeem. Thank you, though. It is time. It has been two hours. Oh, back pop. <laughs> and get some water. Yeah, need to grab it with the non-gloved hand. 
Ugh. Yeah. Get so hyper focused on getting all of that done. Ooh. I thought I'd have been asleep by now. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised too. You said you seemed very tired. But thank you for sticking around. I hope you get enough sleep. I don't know how much longer I'll be at this. Um, I, I don't. <laughs> um, but I can go for a bit longer for sure. Let's see what time even is it? It is a quarter to 10 my time. I'll have to wrap it up pff, probably in an hour. <laughs> I told you I enjoy watching the process. That's good. I enjoy this kind of stuff too. I like watching other YouTubers do face-ups and stuff. Almost midnight for you. Who oh boy. <clears throat> to be fair for me, I usually stay up until about one-ish. Regardless. Um, just because I work. I work from home, and so my commute is literally, like, the five seconds from my bedroom to my desk. <laughs> uh, it's very enabling of bad habits. <laughs> Ugh. What was I... Um, here we go. Gotta highlight those eyelashes a smidge. You work from home, too? Noise, noise, noise. Oh, not a bad to turn on the computer is great, yeah. I used to, in my old place, my desk used to be in my room, and that was super enabling. I worked on my bed quite a bit. <laughs> it's really not good, but it's definitely, you know, what I did. Um, sometimes it's nice. I don't know. My bed was not great. Sometimes go back to sleep. What, that wouldn't be me. Oh, I've definitely felt that a few times. You know, you stay up too late doing something, and then, like, the next morning you're, like, laying on your bed. Um, while quote-unquote working, and then, you know, you realize, like, oh, 15 minutes or an hour have passed. Oops. <laughs> it, it's happened to the best of us. I think uh, the very start of the pandemic, I was significantly worse about taking naps, or at least I would, like, take naps pretty regularly um, on my breaks, but then I just haven't in a long time. I think just because, like, I've had more time... To not worry about work. Your salary, though, as long as the work gets done, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm hourly, so... Slightly different. Um, <laughs> but luckily my workplace is pretty flexible. As long as, yeah, I hit my numbers. And, like, I don't know. It's pretty chill. <laughs> um, I need to do the nose at some point. I think that's gonna be, like, very last, because it needs to say shiny. Um... I think this one's pretty much done with that, then. Um, there's one more thing I was gonna do for this one. I see on my reference, I was gonna put little, like, cheek designs on it. I gave her itty bitty little freckles. They're really hard to see, um, but she does have freckles. Um, but I think even on top of the freckles, I'm gonna give her little, uh... Star thingies. Oh, there's also going to be one on her forehead anyway, so that needs to happen. <laughs> and we'll sketch these out. Very gently. That I don't peel up all of this paint. I love doing little cheek designs. It's so fun. Probably one of my favorite things about doing stuff like this. It's just drawing like weird little symbols and stuff on the cheeks. And one over here. Wait, go first. Yeah. 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 
I just kind of went for it without checking to make sure it was like in the same spot. It is though. Luckily I put those freckles in like the exact same spot. Okay, we'll go over it with paint. And I think I'm trying to decide whether I want to fill in this one or not. I'll leave it open until I finish painting these and then I'll decide. <laughs> I went off the rails. Dang, I had a ride the first time. I was like, no, that's not even. Surprise it was. Let's fix that. Okay, please don't wipe up too much of it. I beg of you. Yeah. I don't want to do too much because I don't want to make it like really messed up. Well, I guess I can always cover it with white. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> at least it's just white yep I think I'm also just really bad at symmetry I think that's what it is I'm gonna fill it in I think it'll be less weird Maybe I just hold it weird, and then I just never get the center. <laughs> it's very possible. Symmetry is hard. Slightest smidge fill in. Uh, what am I doing? Paintbrush. There we go. Okay. That looks better. Especially once we uh, fix it up. Do some touch-ups. <laughs> I don't think you can see it, but at the very back, there's just a whole bunch of little like shavings and stuff 
from all of the pastels and also like the pencil shavings. <laughs> Somehow they've uh, gathered back there, you know, as is tradition, I guess. <laughs> as they are wont to do more so. Okay, all right. Just the slightest. There we go. Okay. All right, ta-da, looks, it looks like it never happened. I mean, the paint mess up who? <laughs> mm, this song seems quiet, let's turn it up. Yeah, it's just quiet. Boop. There we go. Okay, and this. Turn it down just a pinch. There we go. <laughs> so something buzzed. Oh. Nothing specific. Just phone buzzes. <laughs> trying to turn it without like smudging everything. Huh. Super cute. Oh no, went too far. Has science gone too far? Has painting gone too far? Eh. Grab one of those out faster, I don't think I got it in time. Good enough. <laughs> Seal soon, save redeem. Yes. This is probably the last layer for this one. And then I seal them like three times, so that takes a while. <laughs> um, so that doesn't need to happen on stream. Uh, but yeah, this one's almost done. So thank you. Oh, and my phone is telling me it is 10. I set an alarm for like 10 p.m. to be like, maybe you should try and go to sleep at like a, a normal person hour instead of like goblin hours. <laughs> Never really works, but sometimes it does. Just helps me keep me aware of the flow of time at night, though, because I'm very scatterbrained. And if I wanted to, I would definitely stay up until like 3 or 4 a.m., <laughs> which is absolutely not good. Um, even with, you know, working from home and having a slightly later schedule. It's definitely not when I should be awake. <laughs> Goblin hours for the win. For real. It's the best time of the day. Slash night. Um, especially when I used to live with my family. Uh, late hours were like the only time that I got to myself. So it was always nice. I've always been a, like a night owl. So it was definitely <laughs> kind of hard to switch 
to being not. Those are my productive hours. Most productive. Yeah, I feel that. Let's see what I was gonna add. It's like a little dot. Two dots. Just boop. And boop. Okay. And I think she's done. Hooray! We did it. Oh, those are not even by any means. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I think I'm gonna let them be. They're like... They're not weird enough for me to worry. And if they do worry me, whatever, I can always wipe it some other day. <laughs> but yeah, for now, she is done! Let me go seal that. And I will boop out of existence real quick. Um, let's see here. Boop! Boop. All right, we've got the fan going in the background just to make sure it's all oh, air circulaty. <laughs> and we've got this one back too. Thank you. Let's see. Yeah, she's done. So yeah, there's this one too. Woohoo! Get there eyes and them and stuff. <laughs> I'll do that later. Let's see here, I've got just a little bit left on this one. I think is really all we're at. Just a couple little extra things to make it look extra good. For instance, whitening up the teeth. The teeth! So apparently this song is from the uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure game <laughs> on, yeah, this is all PS1, or PS2. So funny to me. <laughs> the teefs. Yes, indeed. We got them teefs. They will be so poorly white, it'll be... Incredibly blinding. <laughs> it's like a, a da -ba -da -ba -da 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 chip from Fairly Odd Parents. Shiny teeth and me. My shiny teeth. <laughs> uh, 
Are you left-handed or is the camera verted? I'm left-handed. wasn't quite that far in there. <laughs> Just gouge it out. Here, this will make it easier. There we go. You just noticed the hat, yeah. <laughs> just a little subtle uh, art hat, because why not? Also, I keep like tending to go like that for some reason, so uh, gotta keep resetting every once in a while, you know. Just because uh, we don't need to float backwards into space. <laughs> but yeah, the hat's fun. Wanted to feel very artsy. <laughs> Need to do the highlights on the eyelashes. And I might actually um, water down the white just a bit more so that it's not quite as aggressive. Maybe I put that over here. And this should do the trick. <laughs> it's like drying up. Makes sense, it's been a little while. Mm -hmm. Much better. Much better. Oh, Amanda Show. My childhood. <laughs> Part of, at least. There's no comfortable angle for any of this. You're just grabbing a tiny head. Lines are so nice, thank you. I've been it's something that I've struggled with like as long as I've done these, so I'm glad that it's you know paying off. It's still a work in progress, but we're getting there. Eek. Just a lot of concentration, I guess. <laughs> The lips need some shine. I will say though, working with these, um, I've been doing this way longer than I've been VTubing. Um, <laughs> And it was definitely helpful doing this stuff um, to like paint the face on on myself, I guess, <laughs> um, and stuff like that. I don't know. At the very least, it kind of gave me a better like feel for like what to do. I don't know. Weird fringe benefits of doing doll faces. You can then make your VTuber face much easier. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. 
Small grunts. Okay. It's about as good as we're getting with that one. Um, I feel like I want to do more, but I probably shouldn't, at least not on this layer. Um, let's go seal it up. <laughs> yeah. Cause I don't know what else I'd do. Um, the only thing I can really think of is mayhaps mm, resist the urge, seal first. <laughs> Alright, BRB. <laughs> Again. Boop. Alright. I have returned. <laughs> Ugh. With that, I mean, two of them are waiting for sealing. So I guess I can do some of the, like... Uh, uh, thank you? I was gonna say I could do some of the, the shiny stuff on this, but at the same time, like, I seal them, like, three times before I then do, uh, like, putting some glitter on them and stuff, because I've got, like... Pearl X powders out out the wazoo that I can like make them all shimmery with. Yeah. Um, but that's for like after they're sealed. I don't know. And then also the gloss. <laughs> the hazardous gloss. <laughs> it's got such a strong smell. But it makes things so shiny and glossy. All the sparkles, it's true. Yes, all the Pearl X. Wonder if I can. Uh, show it on this one because I definitely put some shimmer on her, so you know, the pardon the uh, <laughs> the side peak again. Let's see if I can get any of the sparkle on here. Probably not. That's fine. Anyway, she follows you as she turns. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, I'm glad that all of these kind of came together. I think I might have to, not have to, but I will probably wrap things up because um, pretty much all that's left is, yeah, just the, the sealant for a couple more layers and then the, the, the sparkles. <laughs> let, me, let me get my words together, goodness. Yeah, and also stretch. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, what am I trying to say? I'll, I'll definitely post some photos once they're all, like, completed. <laughs> um, so I guess keep an eye on the Twitter. Whoa, jiggly. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess until then, let us... For sure. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna post them. Um, and I guess, I don't know, if you want to look at other stuff that I've done. My my doll Instagram is manaphybjd because I like manaphy a lot. Um, I can type that out. 
Instagram.com. I think it's. Who to raid? You know, after ads gush, darn it. <laughs> Whatever. I can't really say that. I feel like there was a certain... There was like a week at one point where just like so many... Like, I'd watch a channel and like every five minutes it felt like there was an ad being played. <laughs> um, But I don't... That's obviously not the case now. Um, let's just go say hi to this person. Uh, Mirinth? <laughs> the ads have gone bad, for sure. Yeah. That's one thing that's like, if I get to, if I get to, uh, uh, affiliate, then people are gonna have to suffer through ads on my stuff. <laughs> but I don't know. Generally, I don't think they're too bad. It's just every once in a while, Twitch just goes nuts. Um, but let's raid... Mirinth. They look like they're playing a fun rhythm game. And then let us get that going. I tried to turn them off because people kept complaining to me the default settings are bad, I guess. Yeah, um, they're definitely very often. Let's see here, let's get this raid going. So if you want to copy that once we go over, and then we can just go say hi. And yeah, I will see you guys next uh, this Sunday. This Sunday, not next Sunday, this Sunday. Um, probably regular content. But yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching.